guys, it's Queen Vija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 12 of Fate Grand Order Babylon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> That's too loud. Hmm. Oh, okay, I thought it was something bad. <laughs> So, are, are we not gonna talk about what happened in the last episode? Two weeks ago? Oh. We got, um... Unless he's still current... He, he, he's gonna wake up there, ain't he? Oh, the opening. Okay. But we, we, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Hold up. We're late. <laughs> we just, we're like, okay. We just say it's screw it. And we're just going into an opening. I mean. <laughs> oh. Why you do that to me? That bitch. <laughs> I really don't want this. <laughs> I get the fact that you have to show it in the opening, but still. I didn't want this. <laughs> it's gonna hurt when it comes. I mean, okay, but okay, we know he ain't dead, but the thing is, he's just stuck somewhere. The same thing could happen to anybody. Do I have a Sharpie? No. Try using pens, because I ain't got any Sharpies.
Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you say, basically? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because anytime when she's around light, she pops up. You sneeze, she pops up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we just gonna wait until nighttime for her to transform into her and then kick her butt? I mean, it's smart. Yeah. It's okay, we'll be fine. You know, if we had like for Hercules or something, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but why can't Anna go? See, I know we say that this group right here is enough, but like, I mean, to me, it's not enough. I, I would have been like, yeah, let's have this group, then let's have another group and another group. I'm just saying. Just in case something happened and then they got back up. But I was like, no, I'll be there later. No, you go at the same time. Thank you. 
That is something wrong right now. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't it have been better for you to just have them back up than open the hole and let them jump down? Souls? It's creepy, right? <laughs> mm. Mm, that makes sense. Probably all the way down there. True. I don't know, but look at that face. Seriously? <laughs> it is.
I'm guessing that was the wrong answer. I think if you would have done that in the beginning, Ishtar would have been okay. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course. I mean, you know, this is like the queen of the underworld we're talking about. I mean, uh, now that Gilgamesh is back on my side, they have a chance. Maybe. It, it just depends. It's not them. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Are you close? Is like servers or something gonna pop up? <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be a battlefield in a couple of seconds. True. Uh-huh. They could straight up die. No, 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 no. She's just using that as a form. She has to. There's no way in heck that this girl, this giant skeleton <laughs> with blood and nice pretty hair is Ash, my baby. Wait, because she popped up and like when we were at like eight, ten minutes in when they went down and she's there. But I mean, is it weird that I'm kind of getting like a Wizard of Oz vibe with it? Like, okay, here's something that you got to talk to. You leave, you come back, and then you find out she's secretly there just the whole entire time. But I don't know. She's pretty, though. Oh, my God. But oh, my God. I can't. Thank God, Gilgamesh. That's all that freaking matters. Now, just talk to my best girl. Slash bite her. Get him out and let his soul go back to his body. That's all I want. I mean, it's going to be a little hard. And such. But I'm not ready for all of this. It's going to be too much. I mean, everything that's going to happen from episode 12 to the end, I'm just, it's going to be a roller coaster. Probably emotions. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. Heck, I'm not even ready to see my other best girl come back evil. It's going to hurt. And I'm going to cry. <laughs> but it was a good episode. I really like the way the underworld looks. Because I was like, while watching the episode, I was thinking, I was like, well, it could literally look like everything. We all know it's going to look dark and mysterious and a little mm, kind of depressing in a way. I thought it was going to be maybe something out of Hercules in a way. It kind of was. But I was expecting, like, Cerberus to pop out. Not <laughs> this giant skeleton of a woman coming and defeating them. I'm like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, since we're in the underworld, they're going to pop up, three-headed dog, you'll kick the three-headed dog's butt, and you're going to move on from there. I thought it was also interesting that with each gate, they had questions. I wish we would have gotten to see every single gate, but we only really got to see two. Which sucks, but <laughs> the fact is, any time when they said Ishtar, like, Ishtar can screw <laughs> I get the fact of being electrocuted, uh, shrinking, like, freaking Alice in Wonderland or something, but then you makes, it makes you wonder, like, for two, three, four, five, six, they didn't really do anything for seven, so yeah, from two to six, like, what else happened? We see, like, Possibly five. No, no, six. Six, she had to be shrunk. It had to be possibly. I don't know. But they're at a crossroads now. I mean, how the heck are you supposed to defeat something like that? That's what I want to know. 
what the heck can you, I can't imagine like and because I still have the freaking game on my phone getting to this part and being like I'm gonna die <laughs> because I think that would probably be like that and a couple other ones that I've played in the past like I probably struggle on the most. I'd just be like, nope, we're just gonna go ahead and end the mission. I'm gonna go grind to like a certain level. I'm gonna level up my people. Then I'll come back. But knowing myself, if I was possibly at this moment, I'd just be like, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but it was really good. I'm happy that she's somewhat here. I just really want, um, I'm hoping for next week's episode, we do have a little more interaction with her. I do love the fact that they did, like, Overall, this episode was about her and Ishtar, especially with the backstory. Like, there were so many things that I had wondered ever since somebody told me about her, about, like, between episode 9, 8, 9, and 10, that she was going to appear, and then finally she did, and I had so many questions about that, and so many things that I wondered about that all finally got answered in this episode, but we ain't going to know until next week to see what the heck is going to happen next, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 13. Bye, guys!